guys, I'm Magic Dave, um, and this is World Project. Um, I, it's only been a couple of days since my last video, but um, I said that I was going to work on shadows, and it's actually come together very quickly. Um, I've decided to go with uh, projection map based shadows, so basically you sort of render all of the terrain and trees and everything um, into a depth texture, so it sort of stores how far away it is, but you do it from the point of, the point of view of the sun. Um, looking back towards the player is, where the player is and then when you render the terrain you can look up that texture to find out whether or not it's in shadow um, yeah so it actually turned out to be pretty easy there's quite a lot of resources on the net about how to do it all these different methods um, I came across a few issues with artifacts and stuff um, but yeah it's come together pretty well I'm now um, rendering um, four different levels of detail um, and I'm just sort of interpolating between them well I'm not even interpolating I'm just uh, for each um, pixel I'm basically calcul um, calculating how far away it is and then looking it up um, you can actually see like there's some trees there that are just shimmering a little bit in the distance and then when I move closer you can actually kind of oh well, you probably won't be able to pick it up on the video um, but yeah I mean it's it's pretty good and I've only got um, four 2048 by 2048 textures being used to render every, all of this stuff right um, yeah right from far away to close and it's working pretty well um, and you can sort of see the, the shadows com coming across the water um, the, with the PBR um, rendering that I'm doing it was just quite easy to just um, uh, just not uh, just use the um, shadow map basically to just say um, don't light it directly from the sun and don't light it from the reflections from the sun um, and so it's just looking up this kind of diffuse map that it's creating instead and not not being lit by direct sunlight um, and all the trees are all being um, shadowed as well so um, there's a bit like you can sort of see the the entire hill is kind of shadowing large sections um, it's adding a lot to the realism I think um, like it's really made quite a difference um, yeah so I'm pretty happy with that it was it's just a lot simpler than I thought it was going to be um, yeah there were lots of kind of resources for figuring out how to do it um, it was all pretty straightforward so that's cool um, so I just really wanted to show off that um, maybe I'll just I'll fly up to some snow as well I'm find, finding that um, it's quite interesting when it like how dark it is now in the sh shadowy bits um, I'm gonna have to um, change the way that I'm um, dealing with exposure so I'm going to have to actually look up perhaps the PBR um, uh, sort of world render that I'm using to try to figure out how dark the, the overall area that you're, that you're looking at is because this is really too dark um, it does add a lot of atmosphere and it looks cool but it's um, you know if you took a photo like this you'd be blowing out the sky so that you could get detail in the foreground and really I need to do that in uh, real time while you're playing so I will do that um, yeah so I, I, I think um, next up I'm probably going to go back to working on um, on gameplay again these um, these shadows are pretty much uh, pretty much done so that's cool um, I do, oh, I do still need to optimize these trees a little bit. Um, I mean, you know, I'm rendering heaps of trees here and it's mostly at 60 frames a second on my Mac. Um, but with this quantity of trees, I'm not getting frame rate on the Oculus Rift. Um, and I think I can, I think I can. So I just need to, um, I need to just change this, the techniques that I'm using, which shouldn't be too much of a problem. Um, but yeah, uh, I'll carry on working on that kind of stuff and we'll catch you next time.